When I first started selling batteries, this was a, the size of a 330 battery. I mean, the thing's pretty big. Now this is an empty battery, it's just a shell. But I just wanna show you guys this in relation to the old vein. Like, this is a big battery. You had four of these in there, it took up a significant amount of space. You know, within two years, basically, Victron has condensed this all the way down. This is a 330 amp hour battery. Look, it's not that much bigger than the Victron 200 that we have right here. They have the smallest 200 amp hour battery on the market. You know, if we put these together and side by side and shove it that way, you're not saying, wow, that's a massive difference for an extra 130 amp hours. I don't know how they did it, how they put so much power in such a small box, but I'll tell you what, it's pretty impressive. And when you're spending the money on these actual products here, what you're doing is you're spending the money to get extra space inside your vehicle. You know, if we go back to two years ago, this was a 160 amp hour battery. And I'd say it's almost, it's probably the exact same size as the brand new 200. So Victron is spending money making their product better. The other great thing about Victron batteries, cause they don't have the internal BMSs in them, is you can stack them together 12, 24, 48 volts. You can do all of that with these batteries, which you can't do if you have internal BMSs. And I know people always leave comments about other reasons why internal BMS batteries are better or not better in heaters. Look, the whole heater argument of you should buy a battery with a heater in it, I think it's sort of a mute point for me when I think about it logically. First of all, when I go to a ski resort, which I try not to go to because I don't actually like it being cold, I also need my van not to freeze anyways, because I don't want my water inside my van to freeze, my food to freeze. It's terrible when you're using your refrigerator inside of your van to keep your van warm from actually freezing. Does that make any sense to anybody? Anyways, I don't let my van freeze. So using the power of the battery to keep the thing warm, I sort of get it. I see people now putting batteries underneath their vehicle. Guys, these things are expensive. Don't put them underneath your vehicle. In Arizona, the internal temperature of your van gets to 180. Now I'll tell you this, I've had Victron batteries in my van for a few years now and sitting outside, I don't ever take them out. I leave them in there. They've been running just fine. We haven't been seeing any swelling or any decreased capacity of the batteries when they've been used at those extreme temperatures. The one thing that I do that I think is super important uh, on our inverters, on our DC loads in and out, I oversize my wire for everything. The actual wire chart, if you go online, will give you the temperature or the size of the wire based on an ambient temperature of say 75. But you have to remember when you're out here in the Phoenix area, the temperature inside your van on a 120 degree day could be 160. And you're not putting those calculations into the loads. You may say, oh, the wire diagram only says I need a four AWG wire for whatever. My thought is it's only a little, little couple bucks more to use two AWG instead of four to increase your wire size for a little bit of safety. What we want to make sure we do is keep heat out of your electrical system. The Victron batteries are probably just the most beautiful, small, form-fitting, easy to use batteries on the market. If the BMS is having an issue, guess what? You replace the BMS, you keep the batteries. Guys, if you want to go further in comfort with small batteries that are blue, made by Victron, that have external BMSs, go over to nomadiccooling.com today and buy yours today. Let's go.